Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Mama Bear's Homestead and more. On today's episode of Real Talk with Poppy Bear, we're going to be coming from the book of John, chapter 9, verse 1 through 9. And as he went along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned? Hit the man or his parents that was born that he was born blind neither this man nor his parents sinned said Jesus but this happened so that the work of God might be displayed in him as long as it is day we must do this works of him who sent me night is coming when no one can work while I in the world I am the light of the word after saying this his spirit on the ground he spit on the ground made some mud with his saliva put it on the man's eyes go he told him wash in the pool so the man went and washed and came home seeing his neighbors and those who had formerly seen him begging ask isn't this the same man who used to sit and beg some claim that he was other said no he only looks like him but he himself insisted I am the man how then were your eyes opened they asked he replied the man they called Jesus made some mud put it on my eyes and told me to wash so i went and washed it and then i could see where it, where is this man they asked i don't know he said what i get from that guys is anything's possible through jesus christ uh, the son of our living god or the yeah and you know even though the people were like well he begged and all that they were overlooking the message um, he had faith he believed and God proved that he can do anything and that that and that's what I want to talk about is you know I've done a lot of things in my life but I don't bad things in my life and I, that's not who i am today i was baptized i was reborn now i'm i got the start over living for the lord and i just want other people to not think that it's too late or nobody cares because there's a lot of people out there that care uh our whole congregation cares um, and also another thing that I seen this week that I thought was it's just sad really but um, tattoo artist by the name of Kat Von D she has proclaimed her religion in Christ and been baptized she um, you know call, called out the witchcraft called out all the uh, devil worshippers and she's taking a lot of flack guys and you know she says the most flack she's got is from Christians that's sad because I believe that no matter what you look like or who you are you have, you have every opportunity to give your life to the Lord no matter what and we shouldn't judge. We should be opening her arms, or opening our arms to her to bring her to the Father. And I'm so glad that she's done that. And, you know, she closed her tattoo parlor. She's, you know, she's all in for God now. Uh, she, she's a wonderful person, you know. Uh, don't matter what her past was. Uh, you know, that's, goes back to the addiction thing um, your rear view, 
rear view mirror is smaller than the windshield. Why? You've already been that direction. You ain't headed that way. You're headed forward. Don't worry about the past. Worry about your future. Plan for tomorrow. Tomorrow's not promised. Uh, the past. There's another good one I really liked. Uh, yesterday was the past. Tomorrow is the future. That's why today is the present. Uh, it is the present. You know, uh, a lot of people always ask me, Dirk, how are you doing? And 98% 90, of the time you're going to get better than I deserve. All I deserve is to wake up. Yeah, that's, I mean, what more can I really ask for? You know, I woke up this morning, gotta go worship, gotta go fellowship. Um, and, you know, gotta see my church family. My heart's full. Um, I just love every, every aspect of it. And like I said, if I if I can reach one person doing this or ten thousand, it's all worth it. But as always, my friends, keep on keeping on, and we love every single one of you.